Object insertion is challenging concerning general objects with unknown geometry. In this paper, we propose a tactile-based RLV insertion policy that can generalize to unknown objects. We design the controller by performing four ablation studies, learning scheme, reinforcement learning versus super learning, learning schedule, curriculum training versus batch training, tactile representation, tactile RGB versus tactile flow image. Finally, we also compare different haptic sensing modality, aggregated force stock sensing versus tactile sensing. Different contact configurations generate different tactile flows during the contact. For example, in these two contact configurations, it generates different marker rotation directions. And in these two cases, it generates different marker motion magnitudes. We use tactile image sequence during the contact as the state of the RL policy, and the improvement in the misalignment between the object and the hole, and the insertion bonus as the reward. The action is the robot motion in XY and Y axis in the gripper frame. We use TD3 algorithm, which is op policy and actor critic. The actor network includes a CNN plus RNN plus MLP model that takes the image sequence from the two sensors as the input and outputs the robot action. The critic takes the contact error and the action as the input and outputs the Q value. We use curriculum training to accelerate the RL training in the real robot by gradually increasing the number of the insertion objects and the complexity of the insertion environments. Tactile representations affects generalization of the RL policy. We tried both raw RGB image, which includes all the information, but some of the features are less relevant to this task. And the marker flow representation that's only have the force and object motion information and removes the geometry and texture of the object. As one final comparison, we train another arrow policy with force talk sensor, which is the most widely used sensor for this task. We use 32 by 5 force talk ratings sampled from 0.5 seconds as a state. The actor network is chained to a simple LSTM plus MLP model, we use the still the same RL framework and the critic network. We design a resetting system to enable automatic RL training. The training process takes around 8 robot hours and 3000 data. We test off the policies with 250 insertion experiments for each of the four training objects and the four testing objects, including two bottles, phone charger, and a paper box. The initial error in XY axis ranges from minus 5 to 5 mm and minus 10 to 10 degree in yaw axis. The maximum number of times is 15. The tactile based RL policy with curriculum training and tactile flow representation can insert the training object within a few attempts. Here we show the example with the QBOT training objects and the performance with other three training objects. The tactile RL policy can generalize well with novel objects. Here is an example of the performance with an object with similar shape but different texture and stiffness. And the other three novel objects. We compare the performance of the tactile RL policy with curriculum training and the marker flow representation with four baseline policies. The proposed RL policy achieved the maximum success rate in both training and testing objects, which is shown in this table. Here we show a more in-depth comparison between RL policies with tactile sensor and force talk sensor. The force talk sensor-based RL policy works well with symmetric cylindrical objects. However, had a hard time to insert non-symmetric objects like cuboid objects. As shown in this video, the first talk based RL policy easily inserts the bottle within three attempts, but failed to insert the box after many attempts.
For more details, please visit the project website and check our paper. Thanks.